Welcome to another Business Tech Planet video. Today, we'll show you how to use checkboxes in the online version of Excel. Today, we're going to build a checklist that automatically strikes out the tasks as you check them off the list. We select the checkboxes by pasting a symbol, and we remove checkmarks by clicking the cell and hitting delete. In the desktop version of Excel, you can use the developer tab to add checkboxes that have more functionality. However, we'll need a different approach for the online version, as the developer tab is currently unavailable. To start, let's create a new table with two columns. Name the first column anything you want, as we'll be blanking this out later. Then name the second column checklist. Next, fill the A1 cell with the same background color as the column headers. And set the text color to something that stands out. Now head to the video description, and find the checkmark symbol. Copy it, then return to Excel, and paste it into A1. You can now select the first row, and then head up to the home ribbon. Here, set the vertical, and horizontal alignment to middle. Next, select the first column header and set the text color to match the background. We can now shrink the column width to create a square shape for our checkboxes. With the basic structure complete, let's type in some example tasks in the checklist column. When you're done, select them. Then head up to the home ribbon, and increase the indentation, and set the vertical alignment to middle. Finally, select the checkboxes, and set the background color to match A1 and the column headers. You can also add borders, and set the vertical and horizontal alignment to middle. To add a checkmark, simply click the A1 cell, and copy it by pressing Ctrl and C, or Command and C. Then click on any of the checkboxes, and paste the checkmark by pressing Ctrl and V, or Command and V. To create the strike through effect, we'll need to use conditional formatting. To do that, select the cells in the checklist column. Then head up to the home ribbon and click conditional formatting, and select new rule from the drop down list. The conditional formatting options will open on the right side of the window. There, click the select box under rule type, and select formula from the drop down. Now click the input box under format all values where this formula is true. Then type equals B2, less than, greater than, and two quotation marks. This means that if B2 contains something, it will change the format in C3. Next, head down and click the strike through icon. Then set the background and text color to your preference. When you're finished, hit done. Now, when we paste a checkmark into the checkboxes, the corresponding text in the checklist will strike out. And when you remove the check marks, the text will return to normal, giving the effect of a functioning checklist. That's all for this video. If you found it helpful, why not buy us a coffee? We'd really appreciate it, and you'll be helping us grow the channel. Thanks for watching. Remember to check the description for additional resources. And don't forget to subscribe for more Microsoft videos.